The film begins in the jungle. A male tiger emerges out of the woods and roars loudly. A female tiger meets the male in that same exact spot. The male tiger tries to mate with the female. The female tiger runs inside an old temple. The male follows her again and they start playing inside the cave. Eventually, they mate. In the meantime, two men bring two large elephant bones inside an auction room. The auctioneer starts the bid at 300 guineas, but nobody seems to be interested. To motivate them, the auctioneer says these bones were brought here by a famous hunter named Aidan McCroy. Unfortunately, that does not spike their interest as well. Eventually, the elephant bones are not sold. Back in the jungle, the tiger family has been increased in number. The female tiger walks out of the cave along with her two cubs. While they stand outside, they hear the male tiger roar. The female tiger and the cubs walk near him and they have some family time together. The little cubs are playing with their parents. One of them plays with its father. The other cub plays with its mother and he bites her tail. At some point, the mother gets annoyed and snaps against her son. Next, the two cubs cross a little pond. Their parents observe them carefully. Something that looks like a rock comes across their way. The two little cubs like that item. They use it like a ball they can play with. The cubs spend some time playing with it and messing with each other. Soon, the ball rolls downhill and one of the little cubs runs after it. A little wild raccoon approaches near the ball but the cub runs after it and scares it away. The wild raccoon enters its tree nest but then a larger raccoon comes out of it. The larger raccoon goes after the cub. The raccoon hisses and the cub gets scared. While the raccoon is hostile against it, the cub climbs up the tree. Soon, the other cub comes around. The raccoon hisses against it as well, but this brother is not as easily intimidated. The raccoon retreats in its nest. The cub that is on the tree is now having a hard time clinging onto it. Gradually, it slips downwards until it reaches a point where it believes it is safe to jump on the ground. The two brothers hug and play with each other. The cubs start hearing something. Their father hears it as well and runs towards them in order to find them. The male tiger finds the cubs on top of a hill. All of them together realize that a bunch of people are walking through the forest. One of the cubs is having a hard time walking back. It has some leaves stuck under his legs. The male tiger grabs him by the back side of his neck and carries it away. The other cub runs after them as well. The three tigers make it back in their home. Later on, the cubs feed on their mother. The male tiger stands above their house and it tries to keep an eye on the area. At night, one of the cubs takes a sneak peek at the humans. It sees them walking around. They have set up a fire. The next morning, the tigers hear an explosion. Outside the temple, Aiden has used some explosives to bring a statue down. The tigers get startled, and they start running around. The dog the humans are carrying with them starts barking like crazy. Soon, the humans realize that there is a tiger nearby. One of the large tigers carries one of the cubs away. However, the other cub is left behind. The humans are after the male tiger and they follow the dog. Aiden follows the dog to the cave. The dog barks like crazy. It indicates to Aiden that there must be something in there. Meanwhile, the female tiger is running away while carrying the other little cub. The humans declare that they lost the tigers. Inside the cave, the dog is still barking. The humans start hearing some noises. The little cub is trying to climb out of the cave. But that is impossible, as the little one can't have a good grip on the wall. To protect his cub, the male tiger attacks one of the humans. It starts eating him up, but Aiden marks it and shoots it with his rifle. There is no time to think what is the best course of action in situations like this. The little cub witnesses the scene and sneaks under the large